Yo, what's up? This is me, Mr. Normski, out and about for the Killer Killer Live podcast. Tonight, I'm lucky to be back in my old end in Camden Town, and that's because Lee Scratch Perry is headlining at London's famous jazz venue, the Jazz Cafe, and supporting them is Kyoko. We're going to catch up with Kyoko and find out exactly what they're all about. All up, all up, all up. It's that time where we get the reggae vibes here, live from London's venue of the Jazz Cafe. Very, very partial to me. Kyoko, guys, welcome aboard, man. So basically, you know, I know very little about you guys, except I can tell you've been together for a long time. You've known each other for years. So who started the band off? It, it, uh, it started off like this yeah. in school, like the years two ago. Of, the two of us were in school with uh, John and Ewan, who were also playing the band, right. but aren't here yet. Right. Uh, and we was, we started off in a was it GCSE music yeah. class? Yeah. Really? That's yeah. how far back it goes. Yeah. How many years ago is this then? This was. Right, tell me your age. Right. This was 2006. Wow. So okay. Yeah, 12 years. Ago. 13 years. 12 years. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah. 13 years, man. <laughs> Nearly 14. Yeah. Reggae then, or really? was it something different? Because you yeah. must have started doing music it's then, right? Kind of. Yeah, like ska. We were listening to a lot of, of kind of. Ska at the time, like yeah. real fish style kind of like punk ska, but we were kind of delving into the two tone as well. Right. Yeah. My, and yeah, as my, we went my on. My mum brought me up on like the clash and shit like yeah. that. Who plays what? You're Basie. Basie, yeah. I'm the singer. Yeah. Trombone. And then you've got how many members in the band? It's nine, nine of us. today. Nine? Yeah, tonight there'll be nine of us. So that's wow, that's cool. a lot of people just tag around. So you're on tours, you're doing big gigs and stuff, right? Yeah, man. Big gigs, little gigs. So like tonight, how big is this one, supporting the Lee Scratch Program? Have you ever worked with him before? We yeah. have. Mm-hmm. We were lucky enough to do a whole UK tour with him for a couple of weeks. So we did all the way from uh, Cornwall all the way up to wow. flipping Inverness. Inverness yeah. So like literally the length and breadth of the country. Tell me you took it home. Did you get to take it home? Did you get to do a gig in Birmingham? We nev- we, no, we've never done a oh. gig with him, you know. No. Really? No, no, it still has to happen, man. Come on, ah, yes. all right. Ah! <laughs> see that? And then the see man. that? That's what I have to say. Kyoko yeah, yeah. <laughs> going live right now. Jazz Cafe. Killer Keller. Mr. Normski. Let's do this. <laughs> Buzzing from that, a slightly serious show, epic show, Kill Call. Absolutely tremendous performance. Can't believe we're so blessed to be here. Uh, we're walking out, we're walking in. Lee Scratchberry, he's on next. What a night. Coffee is improving, and from Jazz Cafe is improving, everything will improve. Yeah, 
Gas. We had a children of the jazz, the ages of the jazz. Mm -hmm. So we take the jazz to, to reggae. And then at the time the behavior and the reggae gets so funny. One time the reggae gets so aggressive yeah. and get turned into ragamuffin. I mean, we should not to be a rag and a rag, we should not to be a muffin. Even me love to smoke and me love to puff. But when me go lately and sit and smoke the, the, the weed, it made me cough, so that me just say, it doesn't mean I think so. I don't want you to be no rag and muffin. I don't want you to end up being a rag and coughing. Rag and coughing, rag and muffin. You know, rag and muffin. For the young people, one message for the young people. Enough love, yeah. It's all good.